Hey guys, RC here, back with uh, episode two, Climbing the Ladder. We're with our third club, Halsen IF in Norway. Uh, so we've been dumped twice, if you're just joining the, uh, the save. Uh, we have been uh, fired twice, uh, both times for being relegated. And uh, we have left England and we have ended up in Norway. So let's catch you guys up on uh, what's gone on. Uh, we haven't advanced very far. We played a handful, a couple of matches. Uh, we're going to have a couple of matches today. <laughs> and again, apologies for my voice. I, you know, I usually get sick about this time of the year. Uh, never fails when I go on vacation and I shut myself away from being exposed. Uh, I always, always end up getting sick. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Uh, so. We're currently in 11th position, sitting on 10 points, uh, deep deep in a relegation battle. Uh, the expectations are to fight bravely against relegation. I believe if we get relegated, I will be fired again. So we've got some work to do. Uh, we have made a couple of signings, uh, and we've lost a staff member. So on our coaching team, we have hired uh, John Havdemo as our fitness coach. Uh, he has fitness training of six, also mental of six, working with youngsters of eight. And he can actually chip in on the defending and tactical side eh, a little bit. Uh, negotiating is actually pretty good. Uh, judging player ability is a five, which is actually better than the scouts that i have i think uh so he's he's uh currently our our assistant manager basically and then over on the recruitment team we have hired uh ingve byring Beering, i guess uh you can see he's got a four in ability at these lower levels my understanding and the way i play is your current ability is much more important than your future potential you're never going to develop these players so you need to know what they can do right now so we had a guy that was like a three in ability and like a five in potential but i wanted the better ability right now so that's why i went with this guy uh five hundred dollars so if we look, we actually have the, the highest recruiting in the, in the league. Uh, and then we just lost our head physio. So we have uh, placed a job advertisement. He was hired away by another club. We're actually above, above every, everybody else in the league, it looks like. Uh, I would like to get one more. I'm looking for one more. Uh, I'm looking for my assistant coach. Uh, our first round did not garner a single applicant, so I was a little troubled about that. I've never been in Norway. I have been to Sweden in the game, uh, but, you know, a couple, couple of versions back, but uh, not sure exactly what to expect here. So that's what's going on here. If we take a look at the schedule, uh, after we lost to Asker in the first episode, last episode, uh, which, if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out real quick just to see, you know, how we ended up here and, and everything else. Uh, we played uh, Lillestrom and lost 4-1. to one. Uh, We did get a goal from Jorgen Peterson. And then uh, we played Notodden. This was our first match with the, uh, with the additional coach. And so <clears throat> we actually were able to look at, at, you know, get ratings and the stars and everything else. And so we changed uh, players a little bit. I mean, we don't have a huge squad, but we ended up winning 3-2. Simon Hogg uh, got a brace in the first half, and then per Inge Scotland, uh, and that's probably not per, it's probably pair or something like that, but per Inge Scotland, uh, Scotland in the 90th minute. Beautiful goal. Uh, they were playing it out from the back. Their left back got it. Uh, Scatlin went in with a challenge, slid in, knocked the ball away, got up and beat him to the ball, took it into the box and made the shot and fin made the finish. And we got the three to two win in the 90th minute. So that was huge. Uh, they did score two goals, including a penalty right at the end of the first half. So a little unlucky, but we played very well in this one. Ooh, excuse me. <sighs> Uh, so today we're going to be playing Folo FK and Brundendal football, football, uh, 
fart ball. Um, I'm going to butcher the names, guys. Just, we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, so again, in competition, fight bravely against relegation. We, uh, we picked up three points with that last win, which put us up to 10. And again, we've got goal differential on our side currently. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we have not made any transfers yet. Uh, April 5th, those were all the last guys to come in. So uh, we just got our scout, so we're starting some scouting. And we do need to bring some players in. Uh, I do have uh, quite a few players. Uh, we've got three players on, five players on trial. Uh, some of them look really good. Um, but uh, we are going to see how they look. And we will possibly be putting some offers out on them. Uh, again, we have quite a bit of payroll room. We have some transfer budget. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy, I don't think this year this year is going to be really just fighting to stay up but if i can sign you know one you know maybe three players uh that that we need uh and keep in mind we've got uh you know first set for is our best player probably or right up there with our best players he's out for the rest of the season uh so you know we've got uh, a bunch of amateurs so our our depth is our depth is pretty dependent on on youth, but anyway, let's get into it. <clears throat> All right, so in this one, we're at home. We are the underdogs, uh, wet and calm. So I have played, we played that tactic in the first match uh, last episode that we lost. Then I played this tactic, and then uh, this is the tactic we used when we won. So I'm going to stick with that try to get them developing in here and you know on the attacking end especially <coughs> we look pretty solid so uh we're, let's take a quick look at players because we're still trying to get to know them jorgen peterson is a 25 year old striker up top he doesn't have a ton of pace he does have decent acceleration and he's got really good first touch and finishing uh, he's 511 he can head the ball semi-decently so not a bad striker uh in the number 10 we've got glenn stoyland 18 years old uh again decent he's got pretty solid physicals uh aggression composure decisions to turn i like his mentals work rate decision making uh first touch is pretty solid passing is a 10 so you know i'm hoping he can you know kind of be a playmaker up there uh on the left side we've got simon hogg uh, he is listed, but um, I don't know if we're going to move him or not. Uh, he was listed when I came on board. He's got good physicals, dribbling, crossing, long shots, first touch. Can't finish, but, you know, he can he can actually play the ball. Scatland, as we talked about, uh, he's only a two-star, but he's played well. He is 33, so he's kind of fallen off the edge. Uh, we got an email on him uh, this week that, you know, Fans are worried he's getting too old to play. Still has some solid pace, decision-making, uh, dribbling first touch, free kicks, passing, all solid. Uh, our central midfield, Jacob Jacobson, is a 19-year-old. We're playing him as a ball-winning midfielder. Um, physicals are a little lacking, but they're not horrible. I mean, they're all eights, you know, eights. So decision-making, leadership work rate first touch is real solid passing is solid for this level so i like that uh dennis newtson is another 19 year old uh very solid physicals uh, again aggression decision making he can't concentrate very well but he has good vision work rate passing is stellar so i do like him over there as our box to box in support uh ness oh god i'm the connected letters freak me out. I'm guessing that's Stian Nestland, Nestland, Lund, uh, 29 years old on the left side. Uh, average physicals, you know, he's there. Uh, marking and tackling is pretty solid. Uh, he can't cross the ball, so he's more, in, you know, this su support role for him is probably good. Uh, on the right side, we've got uh, Einar Drager, 25-year-old Norwegian. Uh, 
pace is really low, uh, you know, much lower than I like. Uh, but, you know, he's got bravery, leadership, positioning, uh, tackling, marking, heading are all solid. Uh, he is 6'6". Six, six. Uh, so he's actually a pretty solid center back. Problem is we don't have any real right backs. So he kind of has to play over there. <laughs> um, and... Uh, Let's see. Then we've got uh, Raymond Nielsen in the center. Uh, he is a left-footed, so he's playing on the left side. Uh, heading, marking, tackling, 7, 10, 13. Uh, he's got okay pace. And then uh, the last guy is uh, Rune, Rune Lervik, 28 years old. He's a veteran. And uh, 13 pace, 14 acceleration. He's 5'8". Marking, tackling... Yeah, heading is a 10. <clears throat> I really would rather play Drager inside if I had my druthers, but I don't have anybody else that can play on the right side at all. Oren is only a two star, but he can cross the ball. You know what? Oh, he's playing a 5 8, too. That's horrible. All right, well, let's play Oren over there. And then I would rather play, where's our other guy here? Is it, no, it's not him. Drager, Drager, right there. Yeah, he's got better heading. So let's play Drager in the middle. All right, so let's go with that. And uh, Krav, Krav is, uh, is our number one. Uh, but I, I like Berkland. Berkland, I think, will be better long term. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Still letting them get their get their feet wet. So, all right, let's get into the match, shall we? <coughs> Again, I apologize for any coughing. The sound, the voice, which is average at best, and being sick. So yeah, not having an assistant manager, and the fact that we didn't even get an, an applicant. Oh, boy. Scotland is injured. First minute, lower leg injury. Jesus. Do I have anybody? Stoylin? If I bring Hog over there, then I could bring Berg onto the left side. That gets us, that gets us going. All right. All right, that's uh, it's not a good way to start a match, is it? Chested down, played back to the keeper. Ness Lund. Oh, it's like target practice. We want to we want to hit the guy. <laughs> oh, look at Berg. Oh, a nice through ball, Peterson. He just cannot get around on that to get it on target. But that was a nice, nice through ball. Pretty impressed with that. All right. Push forward because they're... they're oh, no. No. All right. Well, we just fell apart. All right. Carve Out to Drager. We're going to build from the back. And then lump it forward. Chest it down. Out to Hog. Or Haug. No. Runerson runs on to it. Oh, off the woodwork. That was lucky. That was lucky. All right, let's get creative. Come on, fellas. We've had three chances to their one. We're holding possession. Assertive. All right. And then you and you. <coughs> Got to remember, we've already made one substitution. All right. Or in deep into the box. All right. Berg was offsides. All right. Let's get creative again. All right. They're inspired. Jacobson into the mixer. Oh, a header. Drager, his first goal of the season, puts us up 1-0. All 
Very nice. Set piece goal. Look out. Oh, and he was just kept on sides by Hagen. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Nace Lund. All right, at least on the header, he headed it down. Can Peterson run on to it? He can. Ah, oh, just flipped away by Ibrahim. That was a nice, a nice attempt. I'm a little reassured by what we're seeing here, guys. All right, that'll set up another corner. Another corner. All right. You're, you're, you're having an issue with this guy. Maybe pass it back to, to Jacobson. Put it into the mixer and let him hit it over the goal. All of that works. All of that works. All right, Berg plays it up, controlled by Stoylin, squared over to Hogg. He cuts inside, lays it back off to the outside to Nace Lund. Berg into the scoring area. No, Nace Lund loses it. Oh, flick on header. Nielsen over to Drager. Get it back up in the right direction. Knudsen controls it. Up into Hog. Oh, uh, Peterson! He's there! Shoot! Yes! Jorgen Peterson! Oh, look at the fight for that ball. Uh, he just would not give up. Would not give up. Puts us up 2-0. That was nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put him in. Actually, no, his pace sucks. Yeah, let's put him in for, wow, playing a 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's sub out one of the yellow cards and Mickle Bust for Jacobson. Let's do that. Pulling that, that third sub about 10 minutes early. I hope I do not regret that, which I'll probably immediately regret. Oh, no. Get it. Get it. Oh, that was so close. All right. They've got a counter. Ellison, he's got the open middle. Uh, good tackle, knocking it out of play. He had two runners up the middle, uh, <laughs> and there was nobody with him. All right, we want to go to some time wasting for the final 10 minutes. All right, nickel bust. Knudsen uh, could not get it over the defender. Come on, boys. Hold on. A uh, nice, nice vert, uh, diagonal pass to Berg. Cuts it inside. Takes the shot. Oh, what a finish. Tor Torbjorn Berg. First of the season. Oh, my goodness. What a finish. That was a great outlet pass to the left wing. He cuts it inside. Beats his man, takes two touches, and just, oh, far post. Just inside the woodwork. Nice, nice finish. We're up 3-0. We will just settle down. Is that, that's not our guy, is it? No. All right, we're very happy with that. 19-5 on shots. 11 to 1 on chances. I'm liking that. A lot of fouls. A lot of fouls, but, you know. Um, yes, we are going to be passionate. Really special. Very nice. All right. Oh, ow. So, Scotland damaged Achilles tendon. It doesn't tell me how long he's out. 
Wow. Deeply skeptical about his chances for a full recovery. Now, that is the 33-year-old. So, oh, he's out five to eight months. So, that's definitely a season ender. Uh, that means I have got to look for a winger for sure. A couple of players have reached uh, yellow card limits. All right. Well, I will see you guys back here for the next match. And uh, I will probably go see if I can find a winger in the meantime. All right. Well, that took a while to make it through the week. Uh, so let's see what has happened. We lost uh, our head scout in the meantime. Did we sign? No, we haven't signed anybody else. We've got offers out. I had an offer out to a guy from my assistant coach. He rejected it and went somewhere else. Then we lost our chief scout to another club. And when I'm going into the staff search, literally, like, these are the only two guys showing up. And I'll show you what I'm, I'm just looking for. Any coach, any employment, any world rep. And we've only got two guys showing up. I think that's crazy. Um, now, all these guys are available, right? You know what? I wonder. Minimal judge player ability. Just out of curiosity. So this guy's a free agent. So could I offer him? But I don't want you to be... So he wants to be a loan manager, but I don't want a loan manager. So that's stupid. I don't want a general manager. I want an assistant coach. All right. So he's going to, he's, you know, so again, I can't get anybody else to take, take the position, you know, just crazy, crazy. So if you guys have any tips on that, cause that's something I struggle with uh, immensely problem is if i give it to the if i if i have the president hire somebody they'll hire people but then they hire all these positions that i don't need right so um anyway i i don't know i may let's delegate that to the president and then then what we can do is when we get a general manager which i don't really need at this level but when I get a general manager, then I can assign him to hire certain positions, right? And then like technical directors, loan managers, you you know, I'll keep all that under my domain. You know, chief scout, you know, we'll, we'll give those things that I want to the general manager. Maybe that'll help out. We'll try it. We'll try it because I'm not getting any response. We've had... Uh, four weeks now with zero, uh, two cycles of assistant manager, uh, apple, nothing, nothing. Uh, so anyway, uh, we have made two transfers. Uh, they have not joined the club yet or one of them has. Uh, so let's see. Yes. July 2nd, Jorn Skogvold on a free 19 year old Norwegian four and a half star current four and a five star potential excellent excellent physicals he can play <clears throat> left and right wing so liking that there's our now he's a left only so he'd probably be better as a left wing or an inverted winger on the right side uh so but very very good physicals solid mentals his work rate's not great he can pass the ball free kick taking dribbling, crossing, and corners. So I'm excited to get him on board. And then we've got uh, Kim Rune Christie, who will join us on August 1st of this year. Uh, so we'll take, a, you know, we'll take a look at him now. I was hoping he would join us right away. He's transfer listed for zero, uh, but I guess that's the end of his contract uh, was uh, next week. So... Um, yeah, we'll you know we'll pick him up again. Very good physicals, uh, good mentals. Finishing is okay. First touch is okay. He can mark, so I can definitely see him playing in that central mid role. Uh, so he's going to be some depth there. Um, anyway, let's get to today, and we are uh, road underdogs. 
<laughs> but we've won two in a row. <clears throat> we've won two in a row. Uh, let's see. I want to see about Roosten or Mo. Let's go check that out. No, I don't know who Roosten is. There's Mo. He's got a five. Oh, you know what? Development center. Who is this other guy? He's not showing up anywhere in my staff. That's weird. Oh, hold on. Board staff. No. Under 19 staff. There he is. Uh, so he's got a three. So, yeah, we've got the right guy picking here. All right. Let's get back to where we want to be at right there. All right. So Skogvold will get his debut. Haug is going to slide over to the right as an inverted winger. And, uh, yeah. Let's give it a go, boys. Uh, auto number number seven. You guys love that auto number, right? That's what I hear. Morale's picking up with back-to-back -back wins. That's huge. That's, you know, morale is kind of that, that magic elixir. If you have, if you have the uh, good morale, they play better. They do more. A little flick on header. Knutson into Jacobson. Diagonal pass deep. Skogvold. Oh, he just gave up. That was that poor work rate that we saw. All right, laid off. Through ball, Haug. Crossed in. Oh, oh, wait. It's a screw up. Yes, get in there, Skogvold, with a debut goal. Good job. Nice movement of the ball back and forth inside the perimeter of the box. Pretty impressed with that. Punched away. Bad header. Skogvold, Stoylin, just some one touches back and forth. Beats the keeper to the near post. Debut goal, first of the season. I'm a genius. <laughs> I am not a genius. Far from it. Oh, here's a counter opportunity. Oh, no, it comes out to us. Damn. Boy, they're 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 good at this passing thing, aren't they? Oh, good defense. Jacobson stays with it and loses it. Lervik out to Drager. Should not stay on the ball like that. Oh, horrible. Peterson. Oh, he jinxed the keeper. Open net. Seventh goal of the season. We're up 2 0 on Brumendal football. That was nice hustle. Let's give them some praise. Oh, they're fired up. Well, some of them are fired up, the rest of them are just composed. All right, I'll be happy going to half 2 0. <sighs> Uh, let's see. We're going to be passionate, very pleased. Watch your step. All right, they've got a set piece. All right, Nace Lund. Nes Lund. Uh, he tried to. He tr oh, look at that. Oh, what a slide tackle in front of that ball. That was brilliant defense. Very, very good. Good job. Let's praise him again. All right. Nate, Nace Lund. Lumped out. Good header. Deep into the attacking end. Oh, I thought we had a shot at that there. Oh, poked away. Nice. Coming back up, Peterson lays the ball through. Knutson, oh, good save by the keeper, Lindemann. 
Uh, we looked dangerous there for a second, though. All right, into the mixer. No, he tried to play it right into the box. All right, we've got guys back on defense. Oh, nice slide tackle, all ball. All right, uh, Drager. Let's move Matheson out there. And then we've got Arndahl that can come into the middle. Uh, we are going to flip-flop Skogvold and then bring on... Let's bring on uh, Berg there. No, he beat the back line. Good save. All right, nice movement of the ball on that back line. Good job. All right, Ness Loon brings it into the edge of the box. <sighs> Piddles around with it. Oh, Blystad just beats the keeper. Look at the pace on that dude, and look at the save by the keeper. Yes. That's brilliant. Oh, let's double check these tactics. Oh yeah, I forgot to forgot about that. Let's let's do that. All right, Matheson clears it out. Skogvold. All right. <clears throat> he got onto the ball though. That's good. Um, hmm. Alivar Tegan. Yeah, let's uh, let's bring him in. That'll work. Oh, uh, roar! The roar of the crowd as roar finds the net for the first time this year. Set piece header. Oh, uh, let's not lose this shit right like this oh my god um let's go with some time wasting cuz man all of a sudden we are looking uh Pedestrian. All right, a counter opportunity by Rold. Oh, good job. Oh, uh, Berg just beat his guy. Lumped over. Oh. All right, Rold's coming back out. Offsides. He's offsides. Yeah. Pretty sure that was offsides. Oh, just clear it out. Clear it out. Lump it. There you go. Oh, he's got the run. He's one on one with the keeper. Oh, the keeper. Oh, God. How do you not score that goal? That's a must score opportunity. All right. That's all right. We'll take that right now. Blow the whistle. We'll take a 2 1 win. You going to play it short again? That's fine. Just a little time wasting. So they ended up with the shot advantage. We both had three clear cut chances. We had the one extra half chance. Not the greatest game. Uh, but we are a uh, great result. Two wins. Wow. Hello. Let's go ahead and finish the day here so we can make sure all the matches are played. All right. So, Skobold scores on his debut. Stoylin is going to get a pay raise. Peterson with one goal, three key passes. I'm going to say your passing was nice. 
competition. So that has us all the way up to the heady heights of eighth. Wow. 16 points. We're only five off the playoffs here, huh? Uh, let's see. So, yeah, so we're now, what, 13? We're three points out of relegation, so that's good. Building, building. <laughs> All right. So I don't remember. Don't we split? Isn't that how this works? All right, so we play 26 games. Bottom three are relegated. Top team gets promotion. So all the second teams are ineligible for promotion. Team in second position qualifies for the playoff. So I don't know. So that must be, no, they get promotion to our league. Okay. So post Nord Ligan and Division Two Advaling. Looks like we go into a playoff for promotion, I guess. <clears throat> we'll figure it out. But I was waiting. I was looking to see if there's a split. Doesn't appear that there is. Just 26 games. So we're halfway through the season. We're actually in a good run of form now with three wins in a row. Being that we hadn't had a win, you know, we'd had one win all season. So let's come back for, let's come back uh, for Steinger and start. It'll give us a seventh position, a twelfth position, maybe one. You know, we can get three points out of that. We should have some more transfer news. Sorry about that, guys. Oh my gosh, um, we do have the new guy joining us in uh, in about a month, three and a half weeks for the beginning. But we have a, a break there. I think I'm going to put a friendly in here uh, between maybe two friendlies. I'll do that off camera during this break. Um, but hey, two wins. Hit that thumbs up. Give me a like for this one. And let me know what you guys think of the two new signings. And I, uh, I want, I'd like to find one more striker, potentially. But uh, definitely want to make sure there are guys that can step in. Uh, by the way, finances, we're still making some money here. We're still well under the payroll and the transfer. I haven't touched the transfer budget. All right, guys. Well, hey, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.